Hey, what's going on guys? Legend here, bringing another video. This is going to be talking about how to improve yourself as a Halo 5 player. This can be applied to other FPS titles, other esports titles. Now, if a player wants to improve, you'll typically see them hit up different pro players on Twitch, such as Frosty or Snakebite, and these players will respond telling them that, first of all, they need to be consistent at the game, so that you can raise your sort of base ability. However, this starts to plateau at a certain level, so the things you need to do then are to focus on different aspects of your gameplay. If you struggle on positioning or power-ups, power weapons, focus on those key aspects of your game and you'll see it become more fruitious. On top of that, though, what you can do is look at a pro player that is similar to yourself in playstyle and that you like, and you can sort of look at their Twitch stream and see their point of view and see the, how their decision-making differs from yours in different situations. And the pro player will tell you that what you should do to focus on the most once you've done all these things already is that you need to go into video on demand reviews, VOD reviews. Now, this is important because these are games from your different scrims, from tournaments, or even just matchmaking that you get from theater. You can bookmark them so you can watch a later date. This is going to be the most beneficial for you because you can see how you reacted in a situation, also how the enemy reacted to your action. You can see what you could did could have done differently. Maybe you could have pushed a certain area, and you'll see in theater that it was actually free to push, and you decided to push an area that was congested and then get killed. This is just an example, but this is what will be the most fruitious for you overall, especially when you get to the higher Onyx champion sort of levels and the top amateur levels. Yes, that is very true. Listen to Legend. Other professional players do it, amateur players do it, the top ones especially. Now, that requires actually playing the game though to get those games and participating in tournaments and matchmaking. There's other things you can do though, so you may be wondering why we're on Halo Waypoint. Let's take a look. With Halo Waypoint, you can actually search up game history and your service record. So what you can do is search up another gamer tag. So let's take a look at a good professional player, the best one in the game. It's so frosty. The GOAT of Halo 5. Go to Service Record, Halo 5 Guardians. And if you click Game History, you can see all of his recent games. You can also, using this tab here, decide which ones you want to look at. Arena, Warzone, Custom. So you're going to want to focus on Custom, and you can actually bring up his different games from different tournaments. These are because of Series X, but if you go back a bit, you can see his games from Scrims, from 8s, or from tournaments. He doesn't really play scrims anymore because the game's kind of over, but you sort of get where I'm coming from. So what you can do then is just bookmark it, and this will then add it to your in-game theater. If we go down to theater, so go to the community tab, go down to theater, open it up, wait for things to load. It takes a while in Halo 5. I'll just jump to the part where it loads. So now that it's loaded, we go to our bookmarked files, and as you can see, CTF on Fathom is the first result. This is what we've just bookmarked. And if I click to load into it, you'll now see we have the game where Frosty's playing. I think this is eight and it's against Envor, Super CC, Boo Boo Doo Boo's there, Balcated Bound. Uh, this might actually be from the most recent esports arena tournament. So you can see the different gameplay and how they decided on the decisions. And you can get a first person perspective and understand and understanding of how he approaches different things in the map. This is going to be the best way to improve, uh, so make sure you use this. So if you look through the Twitch stream about them, you can sort of see what they're doing. You can see their first-person perspective on how they're deciding on different decisions. The problem is that you can't see like the overall map uh, knowledge that they would typically have, whereas if you look at theatre, you can sort of understand their mindset and where the different positions of enemies were and the sort of times that it's best to push places. This will allow you to adapt it to your own gameplay, and you can do this without even actually playing the game just by utilizing their footage. It's a very good way of doing it and learning from the best are in the game. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to end the video here, and for more content, please consider looking at my other videos on how to improve tutorials, etc. Thanks for watching.